Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, my name's Jordan. I'm Mallory. Awesome. And uh, we're doing a video, and I'm trying to show her that we're supposed to look at the camera or look at ourselves. But we look at the camera. Anyways, so <laughs> I want to sit down with Mallory really, really quick. Um, and we're very close together <laughs> for this video. It's a little awkward. Hey. Hi. <laughs> so that you guys can see our both of our faces. Okay. So, um, Mallory and me met, this is going to date us, 11 years ago. Has it been 11? Has we were, been 11? I was 19. I'm yeah, 31 now. Yeah, so 12 I was years. Too. Yeah. So, and we went to Italy together and studied abroad. And mm -hmm. then I left to go home and you went and, and, and volunteered. Mm -hmm. Right in uh, in Zambia. Correct. Okay, um, and long story short is that you had started. You don't like to use this word, an orphanage. Yeah, it's a foster home for it, abused children. Co-founded with a Zambian friend and also a U.S. board of directors. Yeah, so an orphanage, <laughs> and uh, that I can't understand that. And um, and she's very honest and very and has a lot of integrity and is very you know under the roots and she likes hemp and eats vegetarian. Do you mean now? Yeah, I eat meat. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good, we got you off of that. <laughs> I appreciate a woman who eats meat. So I respect that, right? It's non-religious. Oh, only free range. Okay. okay. Good. Well, that's good. <laughs> so this is free range. Okay. So and um, has a lot of integrity. So. Um, I wanted to get involved. I tried to get involved, what, two years ago, and I threw an event, and we ended up raising some money. Yeah, quite a bit of money. How much did we end up raising uh, We ended that up raising... One? Uh, the first event, the I first time. I say about 11... Oh, the first So, so event, it was six the so first, two right? two events, yeah. So six, and then we were going to have a second event, and I actually canceled it because I found out that throwing events, although it's a lot of fun and I love a party, um, it doesn't actually raise enough money. Um, what does raise money, but what I, the check that I end up writing, it, it just doesn't pencil out. So, so we raised eleven grand over two years, right? And that's okay. It's it's it's, it's to start, decent to start a second home. To start a second home. Yeah. Okay. So tell me where we're at in that process. So where we're at is um, just founded a new organization called Lupo Projects, which is a little bit bigger. Um, it's going to be well, it's a little bit different. So it's going to focus on a different. Uh, wide variety of things it's gonna but our first project is gonna be um, a transition home kind of similar to the Vima Lupa home which was uh, the original organization whereas this is gonna be a transition home this is gonna be um, specifically for girls um, struggling uh, with sexual or physical abuse who are going through the court system so we're working we have a mixed Zambian um, and American board of directors and so we're starting um, this transition home where we'll take ch uh, girls under the age of 15 um, that are going through the court system and don't have a place that's safe for them to live during that process. And then they can either stay with us or then they'll, um, after they're going through that process and they have a safe um, home, they can go back into their community. So we raise the children um, with a Zambian um, parent who's going to be, um, you know, raising them in their own culture, in their own language, um, which the language in the region where we're first going to be working at is um, in Indola, Zambia, which the language there is Bimba. And then you speak a little bimba. I speak bimba. Yeah. In the language of bimba. Wow. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo hablo español. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. So we're gonna start that. Our goal, um, working with our Zam with our Zambian um, friends all together, our goal is to um, have the children come into the home um, by the end of this year. So we'll take up to ten probably this first year, and then from there we'll expand. And eventually we want to go into things like medical clinics, agriculture, different things like that. But we really want to listen to the needs of the community. And right now that um, is kind of where it's at. So. So, is there a lot of need for, I mean, court? I mean, I don't know. I think of, and I, maybe this is racist, I don't know. But it's Africa, right? So, are they really, people really suing each other in Africa? Or taking people to court? Well, is that a common thing? Yeah, I mean, it is I mean, a common thing. Like, here's, here's an example. is um, One of my friends has um, an organization that she works with over there. Um, and she was telling me about... Um, this little girl who um, had a baby when she was 10 years old and she's going right now her um, she's going through the court system to try to you know um, get justice for that because obviously that was a rape case and the baby okay. the baby was put um, into an orphanage but the 
the girl had to stay in the home where she was being abused. Mm -hmm. And so um, my Zambian friend was telling me that there was just a really, there's um, orphanages that can, you know, help care for these children. But the problem is, is there's no transition home. And so that's kind of where we got the idea to start that. Okay, great. So, so you got 11 grand. Yes, yeah, so we got 11 grand. Okay, is that yeah. enough? I mean, well, we're gonna, the first home is gonna be, we're, um, it's going to be rented. We're gonna rent the home month by month and then eventually buy it. How much does something like that cost? Like a rent, what, what, what is, what's. I told you not to ask me that. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about that? <laughs> okay. No, probably, you, probably you, like, um, Probably to buy a home would be about twenty or thirty grand. Well, to buy it, right? Yeah, but to oh, but to rent it every night would probably—I mean, to rent it every month. Yeah, month. just ballpark. I'm not, ballpark I don't know what it actually. Ballpark will probably be about four hundred dollars for. So it's four hundred bucks a night to rent. A, so it's forty a month. a month. So it's five yeah. grand a year. Yes. Wow. To rent I wish my rent was that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and this is—I mean, this is probably a four-bedroom house with electricity um, in a good location, and cool. then we'll have security there as well. Awesome. Okay. So you got eleven grand, and you can that that's enough to start. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's enough to start. Okay. So, so I wanted to throw an event this year, I but I decided I don't think that's a great idea because it's just not as profitable. So I would rather actually see if I can do a little bit of crowdsourcing here. So here's the deal. Um, I am willing to match dollar per dollar for anybody who would donate to this organization up to three thousand dollars. Okay. Um, we'll let it run for today's the seventeenth. I'll probably post this tomorrow, um, which will be the 18th. Um, and I'd like all my friends to be able to help us out. Look, it's, it's, you can, I mean, it's going to be through GoFundMe. I already, I already have it set up. Um, we have it through the charity on PayPal. So, so what happens, I think it's like every month. They just send the, the organization a check. And then what's really cool is we have it set up through PayPal that as soon as you put the thing in, they automatically set up the 5013C and mail you your tax refund, your, so the, the, the letter. So you don't have to hunt us down to try to get any of that stuff. It's automated. It's done. Um, and then after 30 days, which would be it's June 18th, July 18th, whatever, um, I'll just match it dollar per dollar and just write you a check. Um, and hopefully we end up with six thousand dollars. Would that make a big Yay, difference? That make a huge difference. So what is? I mean, I mean, what is a? I know you don't know the numbers, and I'm putting you on the spot a little bit. But like, what <laughs> what does ten dollars buy? What does fifty dollars buy? What's a, what's five hundred dollars buy? It's huge. I mean, that would pay for. I mean, just with that extra. First of all, a lot of our kids will need medical care, so that will help cover medical care. Also, um, also food. Living, we're not going to have to hire um, a Zambian mother to, to raise them and care for them during that time. So, um, and then obviously they have all their school fees because our goal is just to to make this as a disruptive, less disruptive to the child's life as possible. So, if we want to continue them going to school, we want to continue them in a normal Zambian setting, um, but just to have this opportunity to have a safe home while they're going through this um, really tragic time in their lives. Okay, cool. So. So we already know yeah. four hundred dollars in rent um, for a four bedroom house. Yeah. So feeding a family or a, what ten basically that's gotta yeah. be what a hundred bucks two hundred bucks. I have it? Yeah, yeah. It, that's would be the maximum. I That'd have be it max. I have it. Cool. Yeah. And the other house is really cool because it's like chickens ten dollars. Yeah. Goats twenty dollars. <laughs> we'll price it out like that too. We can okay. Do we can yeah. definitely. So if you, you want to give a goat. <laughs> You know, twenty bucks. Yeah, all those things. You, you know, know chicken be, five dollars, ten dollars. Children will be raising their own food and stuff like that eventually, because we want to make this home as um, self-sustainable as possible. Because the less, the more money we can have within the community, the better is what stays and is raised there. So. And so, when are we going to get it up and running? So they give money, we post it online, we could show it mm -hmm. on Facebook. Like, when are you going to actually be able to like? Have, have kids. kids, yeah. Yeah, well, okay, so we have to go through a couple processes. Um, one, we're just finalizing our um, constitution over there, and then we're, we have to submit it um, Do you get a flag? to the government. <laughs> we'll have the, the president's picture in our home, I'm sure. Oh. But um, not our president, but their president. Okay. Um, <laughs> but then... Um, you should then, have your photo of you. You should be like in a little shrine with flowers. And then we go through the process. I mean, we've done this um, once before, so um, also, you know, our, our Zambia and board of directors are in, um, include um, everybody from social workers to community health workers um, working in the community. So they're really used to setting up nonprofits like this. So um, 
we'll go and uh, submit it through the government, then we'll get the okay, then we'll uh, lease the property and the land, and then from there we'll work with social welfare and they'll they'll point out children in need to come to um, our home. So. So what, like so two weeks? No. So yeah. this whole process will take a while. So I'm hoping that um, by something like uh, November, everything, or maybe even October, November, everything is settled. And then we'll get everything situated in the house. And then by the end of the year, all the children. So will first, the new, first the year, the house of kids. Yes. We can do some photos and throw it online. Yeah, absolutely. And people can see it. And you can be like, see that goat? I bought that goat. <laughs> and it's cool because the, I don't know about the other house. and. This is a new project, it's a new 501c3. They're loosely connected. But the other house, they were raising their own food. They mm -hmm. were they were doing yeah. a lot of sustainability projects. Is, are they planning, is there anything like along yeah, those it's lines? Yeah, it's similar things are gonna happen as well. That's yeah, really cool. Definitely. All right, well hey, I wanna make sure I point out that this is not just for my clients or anything, although I love my clients. They send me business <laughs> so I can keep doing things. Um, but I want to reach out to my referrals um, to my agents across the country, uh, my Keller William friends um, in Austin and San Diego and and California and in, in Canada, uh, my local real estate brokers, right? That are not out, that are not in Keller Williams. Suma, I was at Suma M Realty, a bunch of other companies, um, just friends, family. Um, I, you know, spend my money. Um, I'd love to be able to hit the max. I'd love to be able to give the three grand um, and actually give them six and, and start off this uh, organization with a good uh, chunk of cash and maybe some new supporters. And so if you can give five, 10, 20, 100, 50, you know, I'm putting my money behind it. So I'm writing a check for three G's um, and I'm hoping that you guys can, can get involved in too. Um, anything else? No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs>